Have you guys ever heard of the Diagostini Thomas range? For those of you who don't know, Diagostini produced a series of Thomas magazines from 2004 to 2006. And in them, they also came with a one of these toys. And they were also heavily based on the Ertl range. And today, I'm going to be showing off what I have. This probably may also include the magazines. First, we have Thomas himself. And also, at one point when I was young, I also put Blue Tech on the running board. And I was. Because I was trying to give him a white running board. And if you're curious about why is there blue plasticine on the boiler, that was because I was trying to make it look like the. Um, Stuart from the Barkman Jr. range and judging by the blue it looks very faded Edward who I picked up at my first outing to Doncaster Toy Fair since 2019 Henry which is one that my mum and dad picked up at Barnsley back in 2016 and I also gave him a white running board by using a silver permanent marker. Did the same with the couplings as well. Gordon, who I also picked up at the Doncaster Toy Fair. The same thing applies to James and Percy. Toby was one that I picked... Toby was also one that I picked up in... Barnsley back in 2022. I also got him alongside the old style battery powered Thomas Winroy Thomas. Duck, who, like with Percy, James, Gordon, and Edward, I also bought him at Doncaster Toy Fair. Donald and Douglas. Unlike Donald, I actually. Unlike Douglas, I actually picked up Donald, I actually bought Donald from my friend the Sodor Samurai back in 2020. Oliver? Bill and Ben. Just like with Douglas, Duck, Percy, James, Gordon and Edward, I also picked this Ben and Oliver up at Doncaster Toy Fair while... Bill was one that I picked up at a toy fair in Buxton in April. Ari, if it will focus. Uh, yeah, I think it's, I'm sure it's focusing. Yeah, it is. Uh, but anyways, Ari, also known as Flannels. I didn't come up the, I didn't come up with the name. It was LJ Productions who came up with it but and diesel 10 this is slightly off topic but i'm also using this diesel 10 for like some of the close-up shots for the last two well not exactly close-up shots but as a stunt double for some of the shots for the last for the next two installments of my Lady Loss Engine miniseries, which is a adaptation of Thomas and Imagine Road I've been working on for the 40th anniversary of the television series. And at first I was using my Crash and Repair Diesel 10 that I repainted, but in the end, because I was... I thought the Diagostini Diesel 10 was a way cooler item compared to the to both it and possibly the Ertl Diesel 10, I decided to just use this one for the um, scene where he falls off the viaduct and in the how to stop being stupid scene, which has him accidentally bumping into Cranky, which causing oil to fall onto him, which is... Heavily influenced from the original script for Thomas and the Magic Railroad. 
Next, we have the narrow gauge engines, starting off with Sir Handel, Rusty, Duncan, and Duke. As well as being the only piece of Duke merch, aside from the original capsule player old Duke, to have them be the pick did with buffers. And there's also this extra Ben that I got from my first outing to Don to the Doncaster Toy Fair back in no back in the summer of 2018. And a bit of a story that back in like when I went there in December, I bought that Ben thinking that I already had Bill, only to find out that I already had Bill and I that it wasn't actually Bill and that it was Ben. For the rolling stock, we have Annie. Yeah, I don't have Clarabelle, so pretty much the first collection video from me where you where I have Annie, but I don't have a Clarabelle. And the Express Coach, the Tar Wagon, which I put plasticine over. Yeah, I really don't know why the heck did I do that. The Tidmouth Milk Tanker. And a troublesome truck on this turntable. Both of these I picked up at the um, Great Central Railway. I did also buy one back in October 2019 at the Doncaster Toy Fair along with Duke and some tracks which I think broke. But I also accidentally stepped on that one. And that one also broke. And I also did get a crane, but mm, the bits that was like connecting it with the um, stand broke. So I figured I probably not going to show it. And I also remember seeing one of these at Amy's house back when I used to go there, but not anymore. For the magazines, I have nearly all of them, but. I I'm going to go into random order rather than, like, chronological order. The Stormy Day. Across the Island. On the Village Green. Through the Tunnel. At the Mine. Through the Fields. By the Lake. At the Roadworks, which was the first one I bought... Which is actually the first one I bought, because I got these all in a charity shop at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and I, that was the first one I got, and then the next day I got the entire set. At the Wild Park, by the canal, in the town, through the forest, down the hill, at the picnic... In the village, in the mountains, uh, uh, in the garden, by the pond, yeah, the windy day, at the engine shed, um, in the farmyard, at the quarry, uh, at the factory. I think this is the one with that diesel came in. And over here, this bit says diesel was named after Dr. Rudolf Diesel, who invented engines that run on diesel fuel. Diesel is very proud of this. And I decided uh, to have a head cannon that diesel was named after. And I decided that. that in my canon, Diesel was named after Rudolf Diesel because of that. At the airport. On the farm. With a sticker on Edward's face. Uh, at the scrapyard. In the park. Uh, over the bridge. By the windmill. Along the shore. At the water tower. 
at the seaside by the water mill. You've also probably figured that I don't have Daisy. At the station, in the sidings, by the castle, at the fair, at the docks, in the snow, in the woods, in the floods, by the lighthouse, at the fireworks, over the viaduct, in the fog, at the washdown, and the final magazine in the series by the building site. And that covers the magazines. And pretty much the collection as a whole. And I also don't have the third one, just letting you know. So there you guys have it. That there was all my uh, Diagostini engines, coaches, trucks, road vehicles, and magazines that I have. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. And this is your boy, Mal, signing off. Peace out, and goodbye.